dear friends welcome to rotating and static equipment channel in this video i'm going to explain about centrifugal pump overhauling procedures you will uh, learn about uh, dismantling of centrifugal pump and uh, assembling of centrifugal pump here we go here i'm showing you a simple diagram of uh, back pull out centrifugal pump this pump also called as uh, overhanging centrifugal pump and uh, end section centrifugal pump first i will explain about the components of centrifugal pump this is the main shaft for the pump and this is the drive end side and this is the non drive end side it is called as this coupling and coupling key is there this is called a bearing end cover and this is called bearing housing from the, the bearing housing uh, there are two bearings uh, the one for axial and another one for radial and both side of uh, drive end and non drive end we have the two number of uh, oil seals and this is called the bracket this is called the stuffing box area from this stuffing box we have uh, uh, either uh, gland packing or mechanical seal and this is called the impeller this is impeller lock nut and this is the casing this is the suction line and this is the discharge line this is called as casing pedestal this is called the water thrower and this is pump pump pedestal okay these are all the main components of centrifugal pump now we will start uh, dismantling of centrifugal pump first we will start from uh, drive end side so first uh, we will remove the coupling before that you need to loose the gap screw of uh, coupling and remove the gap screw from the coupling after that remove the coupling by using three jaw puller or right hydraulic puller then remove the coupling key from the shaft after that go to the non drive end side now you can uh, loose the mounting bolt of casing and bracket loose this uh, nut loose and remove this nut and you can remove the casing for removing purpose if the jack bolts available in the bracket you can use the jack bolts otherwise you can use a screwdriver or a crowbar in the gap between the casing and the bracket then you can easily remove the casing from the pump bracket now you can see the impeller then remove the casing gasket from the back plate okay then you can uh, loose the impeller lock nut before removing uh, impeller lock nut you have to confirm the direction of rotation for the pump if the rotation is clockwise the impeller lock nut thread will be right hand thread if the rotation is anti clockwise means the impeller lock nut thread will be left hand thread okay that you need to confirm so you have to lose the impeller lock nut accordingly now you can remove the impeller lock nut after that you need to remove the impeller gasket after that you can remove the impeller from the shaft impeller removed after that impeller key so impeller key need to be removed after that there is a gasket for sleeve so sleeve gasket need to be removed so remove the sleeve gasket then you can remove the stuffing box unit along with the sleeve directly actually there is a bolt between the 
bracket and the stuffing box you should remove that bolt i didn't mention in the drawing and after that you can remove the stuffing box unit along with the sleeve directly after that we can remove the oil or water thrower now almost from non drive end all the components removed after that you can go for drive end side now we need to remove the bearing end cover along with the shaft and bearing units now remove the bearing end cover bolt then you can remove the bearing end cover along with the shaft and bearing now shaft and the bearing end cover removed after that we will remove the bearing end cover and bearing unit from the shaft for removal of uh, bearing end cover you should remove the circ clip by using circ clip plier now the circ clip removed from the location after that you can remove the bearing end cover along with oil seal after that you have to remove the bearing lock nut and the lock washer first you have to unbend the lock washer from the lock nut after that unscrew the lock nut and remove the lock nut and lock washer after that you can remove the axial bearing by three jaw puller then remove the radial bearing from the shaft by three jaw puller then we will go for stuffing box from the stuffing box first you have to remove the gland follower nut after that you can remove the gland follower then you can remove the all internal parts from the stuffing box like sleeve and gland packings or mechanical seats like that for this uh, stuffing box uh, gland packing arrangement and the mechanical seal arrangement i will make uh, separate videos now we will concentrate on assembling of centrifugal pump before start the assembling clean the all components of the pump and make sure that the availability of new bearings oil seals for the drive end and the non drive end side inspect the all components of the pump check the shaft run out stuffing box squareness stuffing box concentricity then change the gland packings or mechanical seal internal components check the bearing clearance of impeller and casing if required if everything is normal then go for assembling process for assembling process first we will start from the bearing unit first install the axial bearing by using bearing mounting kit or bearing heater after that insert the circ clip over the shaft then mount the radial bearing by using bearing mounting kit or bearing heater don't forget to insert the circ clip in between the two bearings if you forget this you have to remove the bearing again after that only you can insert so keep it in your mind while installing the bearing then insert the lock washer under lock nut for the axial bearing and you need to full tight the lock nut by using c spanner after that bend the lock washer into the lock nut grooves after that you can install the bearing end cover with the new oil seal now bearing end cover installed after that insert the circ clip by circ clip plier into the place now the shaft with bearing assembly is ready for installation
then go for stuffing box then install the gland follower into the gap then provide the nut and tight the nut by spanner now the stuffing box unit is ready for installation then go for the bearing housing so remove the old oil seal and install the new oil seal after that you can install the shaft along with the bearings now bearing unit is installed after that provide the bearing end cover mounting bolt tight the end cover bolts by spanner now install the water thrower into the non drive and side after that install the coupling key into the shaft lubricate the shaft then install the coupling and the shaft by using jacking tool or bearing heater now coupling installation is completed after that tight the gap screw on the coupling after that go for non drive and side now you can insert the stuffing box into the shaft then insert the stuffing box mounting bolt and tight the mounting bolt after that insert the sleeve gasket into the shaft then insert the impeller key then lubricate the shaft along with key then insert the impeller into the shaft after that insert the impeller gasket finally insert the lock nut uh, after that lock the shaft and tight the impeller lock nut then impeller assembly is completed after that install the casing gasket install the casing gasket into the back plate area then install the casing with the bracket then insert the bracket mounting nut and tight the nut as per specific torque finally assembling of centrifugal pump completed thanks for watching this video